Miroslav Philharmonic II is a complete symphonic orchestra instrument that lets you compose and arrange with extreme detail and specificity. The sounds in Miroslav Philharmonic II are represented as instruments. You'll find these in the browser, located under the Instrument tab on the Play page. There are six main categories. Strings, Brass, Woodwinds, Chromatic, short for Chromatic Percussion, Piano, and Miroslav Philharmonic I. Double-click a category name or click the arrow icon at the left to open a category. Strings, Brass, and Woodwinds each have subcategories for ensemble and solo instruments. Within each subcategory, you'll find the various instrument types, such as violin, viola, cello and contrabass in solo strings, trumpets, French horn and trombones in ensemble brass, or flute, piccolo, clarinet, and bass clarinet in solo woodwinds. Then within the folder for each instrument type, you'll find a master multi-instrument that contains various articulations available on the fly via key switching. The multi-instrument is not to be confused with the multi-object in Miroslav Philharmonic II, which is the thing that stores the collection of parts and their loaded instruments and effects. You can find those multis under the Multi tab. Then below that, there are folders of dedicated instruments for each specific articulation. The articulation folders contain variations of the specified articulation. For more on articulations, please watch Tutorial Video 1, Articulation Switching. The chromatic folder contains chromatic percussion instruments, also sometimes referred to as tuned percussion. There's a harpsichord with several variations, all recorded in stereo for natural panning from left to right as you move from the bottom of the keyboard to the top. Then we have four mallet instruments. First, a five octave concert marimba, followed by a glockenspiel, orchestra chimes, sometimes referred to colloquially as tubular bells, and a vibraphone. The mallet instruments are provided in both Blumline stereo, recorded using a matched pair of ribbon mics, and in mono, recorded using a small diaphragm condenser mic. This way you can choose which miking style fits your production best. All of the chromatic and piano instruments also include eco versions, which use less memory. If you're working on a less powerful system, or simply need to preserve memory, load up the eco versions as a great alternative. Next is the piano category. This contains four variations of a nine-foot concert grand piano presented with different voicings ranging from dark to bright. And the classical philharmonic grand instrument is specifically voiced to work within the orchestra context rather than as a solo instrument. Then finally we have the Miroslav Philharmonic I category. This contains all of the samples from the original Miroslav Philharmonic product, revoiced and optimized to take advantage of the latest features in the Sample Tank 3 engine. The organization of this category is a little different than the first categories. Why? We chose to keep the original product's organization intact for the many users that already use the original Miroslav Philharmonic. That organization differs slightly from Sample Tank 3 and the rest of Miroslav Philharmonic 2. So you can think of this category as a library within a library. Inside, you'll find dedicated subcategories here for brass, choirs, orchestral sections, percussion, and several others. If you can't find what you're looking for in the main Miroslav Philharmonic 2 categories, or if you want to add instruments with a different color for Devisi applications, try the instruments in the Miroslav Philharmonic 1 category. Get to know all the categories and the instruments in Miroslav Philharmonic 2, and you'll have a completely customizable virtual orchestra right at your fingertips. Mm -hmm.